welcome back if you're joining me from another video if you're joining me for the first time hello i have the last few weeks marketplace haul now by marketplace haul i mean flea markets i mean thrift stores i mean secondhand auction wins just things that we've picked up second hand that are absolutely gorgeous and we're really happy about so you can see we've got some brats here we've got some barbies i think we might actually have a double up of one of the brats um of one of the brats that we've picked up before but we've actually started to notice that these dolls are getting more expensive in new zealand to pick up second hand um i was picking them up for about two three dollars each i've noticed now on auctions they're going anything from five dollars upwards for a single doll and that people have been selling the shoes individually so i don't know if there's a big brats resurgence since the new dolls came out or whatever but uh there has been a bit of a, of a spike in the um in the prices so let's go through it i'm going to start right here in the front uh with a miss anudi who is lovely a lovely posed i'm just going to cover her up here so here we have her look i haven't identified these yet i haven't had time if you know who they are just put it down in the um comments below doll at such and such a time is blah 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 i will identify them myself of course too but i love the pose on this doll i think this brat's doll is absolutely gorgeous with her pose she has this bent in knee she has these lovely long heeled boots and look look at the toes on them they, they kind of speak Corella Deville to me but she her face is no Corella Deville let's get her up close so her hair needs a desperate clean but look at this face isn't she gorgeous she's missing her earrings just got lovely long tresses coming down here kind of looking a bit dreadlocky at the moment once those are cleaned up they'll be gorgeous and of course i have an entire higher box somewhere of Bratz clothes that I've picked up from some of my previous marketplace haul videos check those out with my Bratz finds absolutely gorgeous she was two dollars New Zealand okay back to the front here who we got here is this another Bratz or no we have a Barbie oh yeah this is a gorgeous Barbie I think she was 50 cents so we're keeping with the dark skin theme here from the Bratz to the Barbies. Let me just get the camera up slightly. So what really attracted my daughter to her was this really fresh beach clothes. And on top of that, her makeup is gorgeous. I'll bring her up for a closer look. She has this necklace on. She has her earrings here. She has a real fresh look to her. She has the clicky legs. She has a clicky leg. She hasn't got any shoes, but hey, looking in that, it looks like she's running through the sand. Let's bring her face up. Isn't that a gorgeous face on a Barbie? And her hair is so soft. It's got this little wave um, in it here. She has such a beautiful face. I love, love, love this Barbie's face. And of course the clothes, you can see up close, are just gorgeous. So, um... If you know who she is, let me know. I will be identifying her later. Back down to the front. Who's this dolly here? We have a we have a Mycene. Okay, so this Mycene needs a bit of a clean around her front. Her cleavage area is not looking too good there. Um, again, it just looks like dirt, as if someone's played with her outside. Uh, she's either a Barbie or a Chelsea or something like that. Um, we love Mycene dolls. <gasps> She's got the tummy button in. Gorgeous. Does she have her earrings? No, she doesn't have her earrings. So many secondhand dolls are always missing their earrings. And she has the clicky legs. For articulation. Other than that, she hasn't got her... If I don't bring up the um, articulation, I'm just going to say they're basic. <laughs> They've got the basic arms. Let's bring up her face and have a look. Here's her face. You can see she is in desperate need of a scrub, a shampoo, and a conditioner. Other than that, though, it's just more facial dirt rather than anything wrong with her. I love the Mycene faces. I think they are the perfect mix between Barbie and Bratz as if they had a baby and look down here at this tummy button isn't that gorgeous i had one of those i had a ruby tummy button when i was younger so uh yeah <laughs> not anymore now that i'm an old lady another beautiful doll she was two dollars okay on to the next one which is this lovely here i'm gonna bring her up now she was brought at a thrift store and you can see her price tag here it was two dollars fifty 
We didn't buy her on the um, 17th of October. We brought her more towards the end of October. She's just been waiting for her debut on the camera for the marketplace. Check out this dress. Now this isn't one of the main Bratz characters like Chloe or Jasmine. Um, she, oh my goodness, does her name start with T? It's escaping me at the moment. Um, she's kind of one of the off characters um, names. But she is a beautiful, beautiful doll nonetheless. She has these light green eyes, this brown um, eyeshadow. I'll bring her face up to show. But this dress is to die for. This is like a prom dress that, um, you know, these are the sort of dresses I borrow for my daughter. Because I love to dress her up like a doll. And thank goodness she loves having it done to her. So it is just absolutely stunning. This gorgeous petticoat double layer petticoat underneath let's bring Here her you can up. see her face like i said the light green eyes this like just a little part to the side that falls delicately over this eye this beautiful pink lipstick to go with her dress now she has actually retained her hairstyle really well i found her in a bin full of toys so i was a surprise that she wasn't like ripped apart and as children do some people uh let their children go wild at the thrift stores and play with all the toys here i don't know why i i just cringe when i see them just throwing them all over the floor but you know that's what kids do um she has her shoes here which i'm going to assume are her natural shoes um since they go so well with the dress and her skin tone just a beautiful beautiful doll for two dollars fifty there is nothing wrong with her i think the only thing missing is if she someone's made this weird sort of necklace for her if she had a necklace and and earrings her jewelry is missing which i'll pick up ebay is fantastic for picking up the pieces that are missing so she is absolutely gorgeous okay down to the front here um Oh, uh, these came with, I think with these Barbies at the back. Oh yes, you can see a Barbie in one of the dresses I'm bringing up. They were all in a bag together. I think it worked out they were about a dollar-ish each. They worked out they were about a dollar each for these three Barbies here. And they came with these dresses behind. So these dresses need a, a clean. But look at this. My God, for this beautiful Barbie ball gown. Oh, it's got some string tangled around it. That's not from the dress. It's from my sewing desk. Uh, I'm going to give this a clean. Gorgeous. I always, always need new Barbie clothes. So they look actually like they've been... Um, Here's another Barbie dress. You can always tell when it's authentic Barbie. They tend to have this little tag inside with a B on. Or for the older ones that don't have those in, um, you can just feel, you can just see the quality in the stitching. So this beautiful little blue and white flowery dress. Now, for some reason, so this lady, um, I brought it off this older lady. She must have loved this dress because we've got a Barbie with that dress on in the background and we have a spare this dress so it's very zany very 60s 70 get out there girl absolutely gorgeous so i've got a spear and then this top and i'm not sure if this is a barbie top to me this actually looks like a bigger doll top i could be wrong but um if you just see here it's too wide it looks to me like it'll be too loose on a barbie but i could 100 percent be wrong on that no i am 100 percent wrong because it has the barbie be inside it just looks like it must be a very free top because it looks like it is huge for a barbie <laughs> so since we've been talking about those clothes i don't think there's any more oh there was a little pair of barbie sunglasses <laughs> as well all right so i just moved the chair that the princess one was sitting on out of the front here to get to these ones so these were a dollar each there was three barbies in there and for a dollar they're just such good quality the clothes need a wash but i generally tend to wash everything anyway her limbs um she's an articulated doll so she has elbow movement she has knee movement 
but she is very, very loose. So I'd say that someone's really, really paid with her. Let's uh, show her clothes. She's got this cute little kitten top. She's got like a little Siamese cat on. She has a Barbie pink signature jacket and this really cool cargo-like pants with a little pocket here at the side. And then coming down to here, it looks like she might have flat shoes. No, she doesn't. She actually has heeled sneakers. So how is that for cool? I love, actually, I have a thing. I actually really love Barbie and sneakers. I don't know why. I think it gives her such a casual look. And she does have a very big sisterly face. I'll bring her up in a second. So yeah, it's neat having my daughter's favorite Barbies are the articulated ones, because you can just do so much more with them. There's so much more play involved in them. Just when their limbs are a little loose and you want to play with them, you're going to have to use dolly stands if you want poses. Let's bring her up. Here is her face. Doesn't she have like a homely big sister face? She is not a over the top makeup Barbie face. She is very natural, very, very cute. I actually really like her. So for $1, really, really good. And I love, love, love these shoes, especially that they're high heels so they can go on any of the Barbies. Some Barbies have flat, flat feet and you can't put them in any of the heels. So these ones are super cool. Awesome. Okay, on to the next one is this one here. Now, I thought it was this one here was the third dolly. She actually has a price tag on her, which means I got her from a thrift store. These ones I got from a flea market, so it must be the third one's the nudie Barbie at the back. We'll have a look at it soon. So, this is the one that has the same dress as the other one. And check out these boots. These boots open up at the back and clip in. But oh my goodness me, she is so 70s to me and I have a real thing for colour. You can tell by my, um, this is my personal craft room, toy room, kind of, kind of my personal space. It's got pinks, it's got purples. You can see in the background there is like all these Royal Dalton, oh pass here, there's Royal Dalton, um, <laughs> dolls and all sorts of things and um up along here i've got all franklin you won't be able to see them but franklin mint paints and a beautiful huge big um signed print up this way i love color i love color and i love in your face color from the 70s etc i really really do it, it it's exciting it's you know, it's just really fun. I love anything that makes me happy. So it makes me happy. So she has clicky feet, getting back to the doll, which is the point of this. <laughs> Mummy started rambling. She has her earrings on and they're orange. So I tend to think that this is the doll that is actually for this dress. I could 100% be wrong. There's so many Barbies out there. But also her lipstick and the pink and the orange and the earrings and the orange boots makes me think that she is some 70s girl out for a party. Let's bring her up. Yeah, so she has what I think is the typical Barbie face. Bit of, um, you know, standout-ish makeup. Not so much around the eye area, but these lips here. I mean, you cannot miss these lips. The earrings are very understated, but they definitely go with the outfit cute and her hair is long and silky it's that silky type here so that's really really nice one dollar can i get her can i get her oh my goodness i'm sorry brats i actually think i have her from a previous oh um haul so i'm pretty sure this must be the third one this is the third oh 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 and this is one of the barbie interchangeable heads and she has her earrings so this might be a fashionista of sorts. So let me just put my fingers across here. As you can see, she is articulated. Love the articulated dolls. Got the elbow movement, got the knee movement. Her joints are actually really stiff still, so that's really good. But the more so with these particular Barbies, and there are rare ones of these from my understanding, you could press this button on the back, take off their heads, and it was an easy way to switch bodies between Barbies and I think you could actually buy separate heads that was such a long time ago I think you could buy separate heads so you could um customize your Barbie bodies basically it was a really really cool idea I actually really love these dolls I don't know why they stopped the doing them um there were so many beautiful ones that came out as well from memory so here she is uh <laughs> Not with much on, so one of those Barbie dresses is going to come <laughs> in handy. I'll bring her up. Again, another typical Barbie face for me. Very made up, 
looks like she's out for a night on the town looks like she's ready to party and check out those ears i mean oh my god those are like the sort of earrings you expect to see on um rupaul <laughs> rupaul's um catwalks <laughs> I love their earrings on RuPaul's catwalks. I always wish I could wear them. The sort of ones that look like they're going to kill your ears <laughs> if you wear them too long. But that's absolutely gorgeous. Now, the only problem with this Barbie is her hair is incredibly... I don't... It's a hairspray that's been used or whatever. It is incredibly sticky. So it is definitely due a wash you can see streaks of brown in there so it's got beautiful streaks like highlights in there it's just very very sticky it's like touching honey if you know what it feels like to touch honey it's like touching honey but she's beautiful and we're gonna fix her and get her dressed up <laughs> okay so sticking with the barbies before we go back to the brats i'm gonna bring up this one here which i got from a thrift store and you can see that the price here is two dollars fifty purchased around the same time as the other brats uh let's get that off now she is obviously a ballerina of sorts she came with these ballerina shoes i'll just stick those back in there oh uh, get in there why won't you why don't you wear your shoes oh well fuss with it later she has clicky legs so she can do her thing now, she doesn't have a ballerina dress, so to speak. Is it an actual? Yeah, it is an authentic Barbie dress. You can see the B there. But, um, she must be a, no, she must be like a trainee ballerina or something. She has a very different Barbie face to what I'm used to. So this is all one piece. So this is meant to go together. Um, I'll give it a wash. She does not have articulation in her arms, except for at her shoulders. Um, yeah, so basic articulation apart from the clicky knees. I'm just going to bring up her face. I don't know, but her face seems rather large, like wide for a Barbie. She looks like a ballerina. Um, her hairstyle's obviously maintained itself somewhat. It's um, pulled back this way into a small half-up ponytail with a fringe that is like a headband going each side but her, her face is very different and I think this might be actually one my daughter grabbed because she was so unusual looking she looks like a Barbie but she looks a lot like a Cindy to me I don't know why there's something in her that reminds me of Cindy I think it might be because her face is so incredibly wide very pretty nonetheless and for two dollars fifty New Zealand hey it's another beautiful doll Alrighty then. Oh, we'll get this out of the way. <laughs> Something that my gr daughter grabbed. My daughter and I, um, we haven't brought it on to one of our Barbie Marketplace haul videos yet. We will in the future. We found the giant three-story Barbie luxury house with the elevator and um, the kitchen, etc. Three stories. I've seen it online. It sells anything from um, $250 to $300 New Zealand, second hand. We found it at a thrift store for $20 New Zealand, and the gentleman was so nice, he said I could have it for half price $10. So up in her room is a Barbie mansion that we got for $10, the three story one. Um, <laughs> I will bring the camera up there and film it sometime just not right now because I'm trying to rush through some things today but she has gone into crazy mode with finding authentic Barbie furniture to fill it out with and you can see this one was a dollar fifty here and it's got a little sink here it's just a basic Barbie sink and that's all it was a dollar fifty for a Barbie sink <laughs> <laughs> and I had to bring it in because uh, she thought it was a really good buy and yeah, it probably was actually Okay, so bringing this bag forward. What am I gonna do now? I am gonna go on to the Bratz. We got this Bratz at a thrift store for $2.50. So you can see these are all purchased around the same time Oops, now I have this dress. I actually got this dress in a previous marketplace haul. I'm pretty sure this doll is a Chloe. Oh gosh, I was wondering if her legs were super glued for a bit. I don't think that's her dress. I could be wrong. Someone's put her hair up in a hair tie, so that's going to need to be redone and reset. Um, she has this little dress here. 
down to the shoes which look like they match the dress since they are in green and silver maybe it is her dress because um it's the right skin tone certainly for her gorgeous let's bring up her face and have a look typical looking chloe to me i mean i have been wrong when i say something's a chloe and then i go out and i find it some sort tiana or fiana or no it's not fiana um <laughs> Tiana, Teresa or something like that. They all have uh, such exotic names. But um, yeah, I'm pretty sure she is with these glittery eyes. Very, very cute. And for $2.50, what a bargain. Alrighty, we'll do this one next. This is a, oh my goodness, it's not a jade. Uh, I'm so bad with names today. I've just been everywhere. Same little girl it looks like. Does she have a tag on? Yes, another tag for $2.50 here. So we got her in the same haul. Because I can tell because it is the same lovely as put it in the same hair tie. <laughs> Gorgeous. So this, she is wearing a red sparkly dress with um, some sort of, I don't think that's actually a breast thing, that bracelet there. She's got two different shoes on. They're the right skin tone for the doll, but one has these green swirly stripes and one was silver and the other one's silver with pink. So she's having a bad day for memory like me. She has stumbled out to that party and, yeah, put on the wrong shoes. Or maybe she's trying to make a new statement, new fashion thing. That'll be the next thing, mismatched shoes. <laughs> she's cute though, 2 50 Okay, right to the back, and I'm pretty sure we already have this doll. <laughs> Except not with this case on. <laughs> I think this is one of the older sister dolls. Is it older sister or mum? I definitely, yeah, we definitely have this doll because I know this pose. And uh, I think she might have been picked up at a marketplace haul because the thrift stores generally tend to have prices on, which I leave on for my things. She has this long brown hair. She is taller than the average brat. I'll just bring this here. And what really gets me about her is she has this crossed arm. She does not look like she is happy to be babysitting. <laughs> so that looks like one of the PJ tops and legs to me. Um, from the PJ line and it certainly doesn't go with roller skates. I mean, maybe she's wearing roller skates so she can quickly round up the girls because she has had enough of that partying today. <laughs> Let's bring her up and have a look. Another lovely face doll. I do not remember how much I paid for it at the markets. It would have been two or three dollars since that's generally what I tend to pay. She just doesn't look very happy to me. I don't know about you. She does not look happy. <laughs> she is not a happy lady. <laughs> okay. Oh, now onto a pixie. I think this is a pixie brat. Or fairy brat. Brats. Um, does she have anywhere for wings? Yeah, there's a little lever at the back here. And I think the wings might flip into this little lever. They tend to be taller and skinnier. Um, the legs, look, just look at the legs. They're like straight up and down bean poles. She has these flat shoes on, which I'm not sure go with her. To me, they look like boys, like something the boy brats would wear. I've been told these ones can be quite hard to get. Now, she was definitely from the market, and I think I paid $1.50 for her. And I paid $1.50 because I made comment that she didn't have wings, so I didn't want to pay um, uh, $2 plus for her. Look at this gorgeous thing on the side of her face. There's this little, little butterfly motif and these eyes. So these are very different to Bratz for me. Um... To me, these, I don't know, they don't, well, the eyes do, the eyes do. But whenever I look at the pixie brats, I don't think brats, I think of a very different sort of doll. Okay, right down here, which you haven't been able to see, is a little brats kid. Yay! I think the brats kids are so cute. Unfortunately for this one, can you see what's wrong with her? Pen marks. Some little lovely has taken to her with pen. 
I think we picked this one actually up at the thrift store. I, yeah, I remember her. She didn't have $2.50 on her. She had a dollar or something because she's been drawn on. You can just see all these. She's got one earring in. She's on that side, she's got an earring. But yeah, just pen marks all around her eyes. She has her shoes on, and I find that a lot of Bratz kids are missing their shoes. Her hair isn't too bad. In fact, it, I think I could possibly put it back into that style quite easily once it's clean. I'm just not sure about the pen marks because A, some of them are right into the painting. Whatever lovely it is has put those in such difficult places. I'm going to be very careful, try and take it off her, but she may turn into a bit of a custom for us. It's a real shame because I actually really love Bratz Kids. I think they're such cute little dolls. We'll see what happens. Yep. All right, down here, something a bit different from Barbies and Bratz. This one is missing her wings. These are Tinkerbell dolls. These were, whoop, turning her that way, from another thrift store for $1 New Zealand. So 70 cents US each. Because she's missing her wings, um, I certainly have no interest in creating, the, the next one has her wings, I have no interest whatsoever in creating these wings, um, I think this one might be, is it Rose, Rose she, deals, she deals with the flowers doesn't she, I am, my brain is completely empty today, I've had so many people over, I think yeah, Fawn has the brown hair. This might be Rosita or something. She deals with the flowers. She's very um very southern, very beautiful. Um, cares about her appearance a lot. She is actually going to be turned into a custom. I want that red hair. And more so than that, look at the gorgeous pose that she's in. I love this pose with these animated... I've got a real thing for fingers, uh, hands on um, dolls. So she is going to turn into a custom. And another one we got for a dollar. Now this is, uh, she controls the winds. Oh, I'm going to be kicking myself later on. So her wings just need to be glued back together. There's no problem there. I can do that easily. I have some very strong glues. Probably never come apart again once I've fixed it. So this one we're going to keep as she is. My daughter was actually really, really upset because she doesn't like her in the show she doesn't like this one in the show she thinks she's mean so I can't she want wish this one had the wings and this one didn't so I could probably somehow maneuver it over but I don't want to do that because I want to use that one for customizing but um yeah she I think she's actually a really nice doll she's got her original hairstyle still in there just needs to be brushed and reset very very nice I'll find her her proper clothes Oh my goodness gracious me, sorry for the long haul video. Down here we have a couple of bags. Now this entire bag I have not gone into yet. This is one from my most recent uh, flea market run around. It was a dollar for the entire bag. I actually haven't looked what condition they are. I was running out of the flea market um, for some reason. <laughs> I was going on my usual thing, 500 places to go and only 499 minutes to do it in. Um, so this could be a win or an epic fail. Let's bring the first one out. Okay, so it is an oriental Barbie with a basic articulation. Why is her Oh my goodness, so that's purposeful. I actually haven't seen, look how she's posed. She's posed like a sort of like a slumpy slump to the side, but look at her legs. They don't both touch the ground. So if you had heels on, she would be standing like that. That is so weird. Is there any way to move her? So she, she must have had some sort of shoes on so that she wasn't slumpy Barbie. Um, yeah, <laughs> that is so weird having, yeah, that's her standing up. She doesn't touch. She's going to wallop over. It does look like someone has had a chop at her hair, so she has had a very bad haircut. I can fix that, no problem whatsoever. I love, love, love the oriental face. I do not like that the body looks like she's going to fall over. There is no way I can stand her up whatsoever. Love the face. The hair doesn't bother me. I can fix that. 
How interesting. I'm actually going to have to look that up. What sort of shoes are you meant to put in her so she doesn't go... Because <laughs> both her feet don't touch the ground. Okay, so remember, these three for a dollar. Haircut, funny face. Oh, no! Oh, no! What the hell are you? No! Are you bald? Are you bald? Yes, you're a... You are not a Barbie. You are a... Whatever. Okay, so we have a no clicky legs, basic articulation faker. Look at that face. Look at that face. Love me. My body's a different color to my face, but love me. <laughs> and my legs are a different color to my body. I don't know what I am. Oh, and the plastic's awful. Okay. So this is going to go immediately into the donation pile where I just give it away or I give it back to the you know, I give it to the thrift stores. I actually got it from flea market, so I'll be giving it to a thrift store. <laughs> I'm not back to. Um, yeah, so we'll put that one up there. Because that one is not staying here with us. Come on, come on, third Barbie. It is a Barbie. <gasps> with another bad haircut. Oh, no. Someone did not like long hair on their Barbies. And such a pretty haircut, too. Uh, not a haircut. Hair colours. It's like deep brown with blue and someone thought that she'd look better as a bloody witch from um from hocus pocus sort of look to her oh well um yeah i'm gonna have to fix that hair it's just a real shame because this is a very pretty face barbie the dress on her i think is handmade i think it's a handmade dress it is a hundred percent a handmade dress yeah it is 100%, but it's really well made. It's been overlooked, it's been stitched, and it's really pretty. And then down to these gorgeous, look at these gorgeous Barbie shoes. She would have been a gorgeous, gorgeous Barbie. I wonder what dress she originally wore. <sighs> Last but not least, something not dolls that I came across. Now, I know a few of you, uh, male, I should say, because a few males messaged me over it. Over, I found Heroes, uh, this hero game that you play um, pieces at a thrift store. Well, I found some more at a different thrift store, entirely different chain of thrift store. This was $5.50 for the bag. I have not opened up the bag, you can see. So let's go inside and have a look. I'll end on a boy's toy, you know, boy's toy in quotation marks, but okay so we've got more of the green lantern <laughs> which i got in abundance at the last one. Oh wow what is this thing it's something you can look through much like that kind of red portal i got on that really cool um undead guy i absolutely love him oh wow look at this one she's like a little um fighter with long hair cool i love these I love this little thing. Who is this? So they're all kind of like um, heroes. He's brouching out fire. And they have powers and stuff you can use on a game board. And this clicks around depending on what you throw, etc. It's a really neat looking game. I just like the little figurines. Oh, we have another fire belcher here. And oh, we've got a green faced girl. Is she another green lantern? She's like, yeah, look at that fist, yeah. <laughs> I kind of brought this more just, oh, now this is part of the reason I brought it was, if you remember in the previous opening, I had that gorgeous, gorgeous phoenix. Well, when I looked up the phoenix online, it has like all these fire abilities that are meant to come with it. And look. Here are these little fire pieces that are meant to go around the phoenix, which is awesome. I actually ended up having two of the phoenixes, and I gave one to my friend because I thought they looked so cool. And what have we got? We have a guy with a green jacket on and black everything else. Nope, he's got boots. He's again got his fist clenched. He's ready to fight. Yeah, come at me. <laughs> Mummy's a, oh, a $5.50. Uh, tag we can throw that away because i've already spent it so what have we got now we have uh, this must be like some sort of game mechanic piece it is a pair of scissors uh, zooming up from the ground there's some more of these little green things let's bring them up they must be like little modifiers to the game okay we have a 
I assume these are catapults. Ah, come on camera. Like catapult pieces or maybe they're like spoon scoops for when the heroes need some spoons. We have a green guy leaning forward, ready to take off. Yep. <laughs> so we got a couple of those. These are really, really cute. I don't know. They, I, I don't think they took off here is what is why I'm picking them up in these big bags for. Whoa, check out this dude. This is pretty cool. He's like an alligator face man. Some sort of alien. Oh, look at the face in this. I love the details in these little figures. This must be such a cool game to play. Like there's more, like, oh wow. It's like he's controlling some sort of elements that are like really fast. Okay, we got a green piece that's shaped like a crossbow. Another green piece that's shaped like a crossbow. Another green lantern dude here. I've got plenty of green lantern dudes. Oh, one of those green dudes going that's out of the packet. And to end off, oh, we got another alligator dude who's super, super angry. Ended with a boy's toy. <laughs> I'll bring up the camera. Okay, so doing a flyby, we got our Bratz girls up here. So most I'd say it cost probably averages out about two dollars fifty is what I paid for most of them. Some of them, you know, like I said, a dollar um two dollars fifty with the Bratz girls. I got fawn here for the Tinkerbell. Not fawn. Um, sure, her name starts with S or O. One of those two <laughs> from Tinkerbell. I got the Barbies here and over here I have the ones I'm going to work on. So the Asian Barbie with the weird feet. Um, the Rosie or Rosita or something. One um, name will come to me. This gorgeous Barbie who I intend to restore rather than change. And this one who I'm going to try and restore before I change. The sink and of course underneath the boys toys the heroes from the game all right what was my favorite from this haul um oh my goodness well i really love this barbie but it's got to be this brat doll finding her for two dollars fifty is such an incredible bargain she is absolutely beautiful from the local thrift store she is going to make a real statement piece to my daughter's collection and I know that my daughter's been hounding me to get her fixed up and on the shelf. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. Alright, if you love Marketplace Horse, please give this a thumbs up. Sorry for being a bit unprofessional today and a bit forgetful. Um, it's been one of those days. <laughs> If you love toys in general, please subscribe. We love to open toys here and we love to share. Thanks very much for watching. Bye. Bye.